Yesterday the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, sat down with Andy Serwer to discuss the possible delisting of Chinese stocks on the US exchange. To be specific, Gensler is seeking to delist any foreign company that refuses to comply with US laws that require inspection of their auditing books. According to Gensler, it's not just Chinese companies, but a lot of European, Asian, South American, African, and Australian companies that could be delisted as soon as 2024. Here is a quick snippet of the interview with Gensler. We're blessed in the US again with such robust and strong capital markets that between 1,000 and 1,500 foreign companies actually list their shares here in the US. And it's not just China companies, but a lot of Europeans, Asian, uh, South American, African, Australian companies. It's just from all around the globe. But there's some basic understandings that if you want to list in the US, you need to comply uh, with our, our investor protection rules. And one of the key things that came out 20 years ago, one of the key things was that if you want to be uh, issuing and raising money in the US, that you have to be not only audited, that the company has to be audited, but the auditors have to be open to inspection. Kind of simple idea, audit the auditors. And Paul Sarbanes, a Maryland senator who I had the honor to work with, uh, Chair Sarbanes passed that law 20 years ago. Bipartisan with Republicans on the Hill, with Senator, uh, um, with uh, Mike Oxley, and with President Bush. 20 years later, 50 plus jurisdictions around the globe have allowed U.S. entity called the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board to audit the auditors, but China has not. So Congress weighed in again two years ago, or a year and a half ago, and said, no, that's not, that's not right. And they put a clock that had to happen. So where are we today? I think it's really, uh, we've had some good discussions uh, with our counterparts from China. The Public Company Accounting Oversight Board has had some good discussions, but it's really up, up to the officials in China. If they allow, the auditing firms in Beijing and Shanghai and elsewhere to be inspected and that their work papers are actually shared and not with a lot of redactions, but actually shared. Right. And their auditors actually allow themselves to be, you know, give uh, uh, interviews and testimony like 50 other countries have done. Right then there's a path forward. Otherwise, Congress has spoken uh, about 250 Chinese companies uh, in a, this three-year clock, um, uh, potentially as early as 2024, uh, would, be, um, would have to suspend trading here. What does this mean for NEO? First, last year, when asked about delisting, NEO CEO, William Lee, stated, our corporate governance ensures that NEO is compliant with any relevant regulations and standards. As a company, we are very compliant with any new laws that America may create. NEO is willing to go through any procedure that will protect our investors. In addition, recently regulators from China and US have started negotiations over auditing issues and have made great progress. A spokesperson from the CSRC said, we are ready to go further with US authorities. As long as both sides approach the auditing issue with mutual respect and trust, both sides can find a path of agreement to protect global investors in both countries. Second, NEO just applied to list its shares on the Hong Kong exchange by way of a principal approval. According to Deutsche Bank analyst, Edison Yu, the fear over NEO delisting from the US should be gone. Now NEO will only have to focus on increasing the production of three new models starting in March. That's what's been happening this week in the world of NEO stock analysis and predictions. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click the subscribe button at the bottom right and subscribe to Financial Health right now, so that next week you'll get the inside scoop on the latest developments to keep you and your business on the leading edge of NEO stocks and predictions. If you enjoyed this edition of NEO stock analysis and predictions, leave a comment and please hit the like or share button, we'd really appreciate it. Are you still watching and want more? Check out last week's NEO stock analysis and predictions by checking out our NEO playlist.